In this video, I want to talk about bad objects and bad surfaces. And basically, the first thing you should know about bad objects is that they have different names. So, bad objects in Rhino are also called bad surfaces. And in, in softwares like SolidWorks, we call them degenerate surface, like this, degenerate surface. So if you if you want to have better examples of uh, what that looks like and and how it happens, and if you want to do your own research, uh, you can call them bad surfaces or de degenerate surface, and it's going to pop up. Um, and there's different reasons why you would get these bad surfaces or bad objects. Um, and on the official website, it gives you a description of what it is and how it works. Um, but it's very simple. The, the, dis the definition of it is very straightforward. Uh, basically, what it is, is in Rhino, we use NURBS. NURBS is um, it's what we call the surfaces that are generated into Rhino. They're called NURBS. Um, and the reason why they have a name is because there's different mathematics that drive different types of surfaces. Uh, for example, you have polygons. Polygons work differently than NURBS. Um, but so, Bad surfaces in Rhino, they're NURBS surfaces, and these NURBS have rules, and if you violate one of the rules, then you end up with a bad surface. So that's what defines a bad surface, or a degenerate surface, or a bad object. Um, they're all NURBS surfaces, which have one or two of the rules that um, is broken, and if you break one of the rules, you have a bad surface. Now, sometimes that's not a big issue, and sometimes it's it's really, really bad, and you end up with renderings that um, just don't look the way you want them to look. Uh, and so I'm going to go over what they are, and why they happen, and how you can fix them. Um, but before we really jump into it, I want to talk about um, the basics of it, which is the CVs. And uh, so if you look at it, the CVs are the points on surface. And here, you know, in the description, it talks about Elios Golden Rules. Um, but Elios uses the same NURBS surfaces that Rhino uses. Um, it's very similar mathematics. The results are always the same. Um, and so when you're looking at these surfaces, what you can notice is uh, you have a U and a V. And the U and, and the V of the surface, so the UV, um, they are basically the X and Y of the surface. And so if you look at it, every time you have a surface, you're going to have four sides. It's like a square, it's a box. Um, and so if you break that rule, which is the UV rule, the X and Y of the surface, you end up with a degenerate point, one single point, instead of having an X and a Y. Because let's say if you go from this point to this one, so we're going straight, let's say this is the x axis. And then if we go from this point going up, we have the y axis. So here it's x, and then the second row would be still on the x axis, and then the next one has an x. Oops. Um, and then if you get to the next one, so row number one, row number two, row number three, row number four, you have a single point instead of having one, two, three, four points. So that means the X here is broken because a NURBS surface should always have the same number of CVs running on its U and V axis, the X and Y axis of the surface. So that's why this here would be a degenerate surface. Um, and that's, most of the time, that's exactly what happens whenever you see a broken surface, a bad object, a bad surface, a degenerate point. Um, they're all the same. Whenever you see this, it's because of the same reason. It's because your number of points come to a single point somewhere, and you end up with this bad surface. Let's go inside right now. And, um, let me show you exactly what that looks like and how that works. 